Today we are taking a look at something a tiny bit different. Well, it might be just another gaming keyboard when first looking at it, but in the cardboard packaging you can find the Red Dragon Anubis K539 RGB. Its key features are wireless connectivity, low profile, 80% tank keyless design and of course RGB. You can't do without that these days. Quite a lot of special features, especially given the affordable price, but is it really as good as it seems? Stick around and find out. Let's start with connectivity options. We have wireless options of Bluetooth 5.0, 2.4 GHz wireless connectivity via a USB dongle and of course the classic wired connection for the times when the 1900 mAh battery runs out. The wired connection is also ideal for all skeptics who don't trust wireless technologies, that they will be fast enough or reliable enough to convert your clicks on the mechanical keys into movements in games. Well, here we got a question. We wanted to, in a non-scientific way, test what kind of delay we can expect with each of the methods. And we tested it by clicking in notepad and measuring the hundreds of a second with a speed camera. As you can expect, the USB wired connection was by far the fastest, followed by the well-responsive 2.4 GHz dongle, while the Bluetooth, while very energy efficient, is almost five times slower than the Wi-Fi. So don't play games over Bluetooth. A good thing to note here is that you can only use one method of connection at a time and you have to physically click the connection type on the bottom side of the keyboard when you want to change it. It would also be awesome to see the possibility of using the Anubis with multiple devices or multiple platforms at the same time, for example for the gaming PC and streaming PC at once, similar to Logitech's Flow technology, well, maybe in the next revision. Gaming keyboards can be found in a wide spectrum of sizes. The one we're testing today is sized at 80%. In the beginning of the gaming industry, you could see a lot, and I mean a lot of full-size keyboards with many additional macro keys, screens and programmable functionalities such as Logitech's G15. This trend has completely died out and these days minimalist, 10 keyless, 60% or even 40 and less are really popular. And today it's not wild to spend hundreds of dollars or euros on really high quality build rare switches and premium braided cables. As far as switches goes, K539 has tactile mechanical switches with a low profile called Otimu Brown, which fit the cherry nomenclature and are clickable hybrids between mechanical and laptop switches by feel. After using, it took us quite a lot of time to stop bottoming out every single keystroke. But once we got used to it and we found the precise point of activation, somewhere in the middle of the travel, we got to speed typing. Likewise, we do have to say that when we sent the test unit back, we were really happy to get to the full travel of Cherry MX switches. What that means exactly, I don't know. Maybe we just didn't get used to it enough. Maybe there is something to the larger travel. I don't know. Moving onwards to the build quality, which, given its affordable price bracket, is unsurprisingly fully plastic. It does not flex when using it, but we wouldn't really drive a car over it and expect it to work afterwards. A notable thing here is that the side of the Anubis that houses the battery is substantially heavier than the other one and when carrying it, it's a bit weird, but in the end, that doesn't really matter. The battery itself though guarantees a full week of ordinary use with full-on RGB effects and over two weeks without any lighting whatsoever, which is more than enough battery life so it won't get on our nerves. Before we conclude this review it has to be said that the Red Dragon Anubis is available in two color combinations, the classic black and the future dirty white. One will look real nice in the beginning, the other will also look nice a year or two afterwards. That is, if you don't break it apart, when you lose out on a key clutch in Valorant. Well, in the software suite you have full RGB programmability, so you can choose effects, you can choose lights, you can choose macros and whatnot, so you can rest assured that the Anubis will be color matched to your RGB RAMs, PSU, gaming chair or something else entirely. 
Red Dragon with its K35 Anubis has put on the market some, not just another Cherry Mechanical MX clone gaming keyboard, but actually something different, something unique. It has great connectivity, a low profile, looks good on the table and has an attractive price. But we actually do ask ourselves when looking at it who the consumer really is. If I'm a hardcore gamer, I want a cable to be really really sure of the performance. If I'm playing on a console, I'd like to have an integrated trackpad or a mouse in the kit. Maybe it's an ideal product for gamers with laptops who plug in the keyboard for their gaming sessions, but are otherwise looking for something transportable and in the end a cool product, which the K539 Anubis definitely is. Thanks for watching this review on Discharge Networks. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next video.